Hey there, what's up guys? Welcome to Blender Wiz. And in today's video, we will be learning how to create real foam in Blender using real foam shader. So real foam is a procedural material designed for cycles that allows you to create different types of foam in a simple way without the need to use any complex particle systems or texture maps. So by the end of the video, we will be learning how to create this foam. So not wasting our time, let's get started. So to get the real form shader add-on, do check my description down below. So we will start by deleting our default cube and by adding a plane and then let's start creating our foam. So then we add a UV sphere, scale it and shade smooth. Go into the sculpt mode and choose the elastic deform and give it a shape of a foam. So just grab some part and give it a basic foam shape. Alright, so then we go again into our layout mode and then with our UV sphere selected, we go into the file, click on append. Once you extract the add-on, you will get this folder, real foam. Just click on real foam shader dot blend file and click on append. And then select this node tree folder and click on real foam shader and click on append again. And then now we split our screen into two and we open the shader editor click on our uv sphere and add a new material to it just deattach this and bring this over here now press shift a and search for real foam shader connect this volume to volume and in order to preview the bubbles we we attach this bubble preview to the surface then we go into the material view so you can see a black shade over here then the next thing we have to do is add, add a mapping node so search for mapping and connect this vector to vector and then we add a texture coordinate and we connect this object to our vector and now you can see the preview over here these are this is the basic shape of our real foam shader and you can change the value as you can see we have four bubble groups which is group one group two group three and group four and you can scale the size accordingly change the amount change the randomness of all the bubble groups and then down here you can see uh, we can also change our foam color. We can increase or decrease the density, the specular, and you can just play with this value based on what type of foam do you want. Once you are satisfied, just disconnect this node, bubble preview node, and connect the shader shader node to the surface. So now you can see we have a foam here, and in order to render this, just go into the render properties and change the render engine to cycles because this won't work in EV and just place your camera and render it so sometimes you might not get the result as expected so you just have to go into the shader editor and play with the values until you are satisfied so once we render it this is how our foam is gonna look like so I hope you like the video and if you like it then do subscribe my channel and also hit that like button and don't forget to comment. So once again if you want to take a look at this add-on just check my description down below. So thank you so much for watching.